Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships once again. In the previous episode, we took over Woundford and I guess managed to take the entire western part of the map, sands this little bit down the bottom, which is a completely locked in island, which we can only attack via air. So we won't be doing that until later on in the series because this guy here is no threat unless he actually builds airships. So we'll get to that later on. But in this episode, what I want to do is see how far we can get inland so we do want to start taking uh, these areas here and then moving down and essentially just getting as far as we can that is the objective we've built three vessels so far in this series if we go over to uh, build a land ship we can see the ones that we've got so firstly we've got well in order of building we've got the Murrayington which is generally hit and miss the tracks tend to fall off and I know a lot of people have been mentioning removing these little strut type things but uh, yeah I think even removing them it probably just cause more damage to the to the tracks but anyway We've got that, and it's quite good. Boarding vessel got a good amount of flak on the top, which has actually saved us more times than I can count, and a saw on the front. We've also got the Liftington, which is fairly useless. It's just a long platform that tends to snap in half if you put anything other than a feather on the middle section. And then finally, we got the Mini Bombard, which is really cool. It was very, very good and very, very effective when we managed to uh, put it against several things in Woundford. If we go over to defences here, hang on, uh, we can see that they have currently only two defences, and the others that that they had which is I think they had another I think they had six in total we managed to destroy one of them before we got there the rest was just boarded or whatever and then we ended up blowing up so yeah that was interesting anyway in this episode we want to build another vessel so let's go over to a design land ship and unsurprisingly since we got the suspendium cannon a lot of people said we should make a vessel um, focused around this thing so I thought that is no problem whatsoever that sounds like a good idea so suspendium cannon is a fairly interesting device it requires requires um, coal and uh, does it require coal and does it require ammo? I don't think it needs ammo, it just says coal. Mm, I might do. Let's have a look. Requires a unit of coal every 10 seconds. Okay, so we're going to have to have a bit of coal on this uh, vessel, so we might even go for something like that. So it's not going to be the smallest vessel ever, although we could... We might get away with something else. Let's just see what we can do. So the idea is to make the small vessel, which is not large legs, not large tracks, medium legs, no small legs. We could have that. We haven't made a legged vessel yet. A legged vessel or a legged vessel? Uh, actually, that would be okay. And put up a height like so, and then have things around it. We could do it that way. We could do it that way. Let's give it a go so assuming we're gonna have that there we can then go for well we could put a coal store like so and that technically is legit but it really looks very 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 dodgy so uh, yeah maybe perhaps and then ammo store we will need one of those small ammo store like that and obviously we have no way at the moment to make it go forward or back because of we well we don't have any any <laughs> any crew so let's see if we can sort that out berth in there and no we're gonna need at least a couple of those um is the best way of doing this that then or do we want to make it a bit bigger i think we are going to have to make it a little bit larger so that's a shame that that ladder is on the right hand side rather than the left because then we could have it going all the way up and down here because what we might have to do is have a have it like that have births one two how many crew does it say it wants minimum crew of four recommended crew eight air sailors we've currently got nine twelve now if so if we have twelve like that we could probably go for a, actually, delete one of those, put it there for now. Probably put a cockpit in here, and then a crow's nest just above it, like so. Oh, damn it, we can't get access to it. So we're going to have to delete that. Put a cockpit in here. Over to resources, and then... Perhaps ammo store? Yeah, we do need one of those. I don't think it's just a supply hatch. That's a legit vessel, actually. Surprisingly, it's a legit vessel. Right, uh, well, we can fill it with brick wall, or steel wall, or steel armor, actually. We'll fill it that. 
And there we go. There's a mini suspendium cannon type vessel. Don't know how effective this is going to be. I'm, I'm not entirely convinced. It's uh, actually, not, you know what? No, I was going to say I'm not entirely convinced it's going to be that good, but actually, I think it could prove quite good. I'm gonna, I was gonna put a strut there to protect stuff, but no, I think we'll just remove it and we'll keep it as is. And I guess it's just a case of decoration, uh, steel nameplate, which we'll put on here. And obviously, we do need to rename this uh, GLV and Mini Sniper. Because that's the sort of thing that this cannon is good for. It's a, it's a long-range sniping uh, system. So if we go over to weapons, we can compare the two. So we'll compare the Suspendium Cannon with the Heavy Cannon. So the Heavy Cannon has a... Where is it? What's its damage? Piercing damage, 150. Suspendium Cannon, piercing damage, 75. But the reload time is 4 rather than 8. Also, maximum accurate range is 1,700 meters, whereas the Suspendium Cannon is 7,500 meters. So, um... Yeah, yeah, it's about firing and hitting the target, going straight through it, and, it, and the bolt coming out the other end. So hopefully, this will be useful. So we'll save the design and build one, because, well, we might as well. A lot of people have been asking uh, to build more of these flesh cracker things, but um, I like, I mean, I could just build loads of those and pretty much win the game now, but I want to build all of the interesting designs and things that people say, because that's... Well, that's interesting, I think. So, build land ships, but I'm not uh, certainly not going to ignore these uh, flesh cracker things. I probably am. Go I'm probably going to. Um, I'm probably going to build loads of them towards the end. Like when when we know that this is a win, we will build loads of them towards the end and then just send them out. So there we go. We've managed to uh, build. Oh, we're building four of these mini snipers. I'm going to put a spy over in Lonlin. Uh, looks like an enemy spy has sabotaged construction there, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, no matter. It hasn't actually destroyed it. It was just reduced it down somewhat, and that'll cost us some money. And we will... Oh, I've just found something. I've just seen something that we really, really, really want. Uh, there's the flesh cracker there. We want to click on both of those to cancel them off and then move them over to Narlikan. And this is our little mini sniper there. And little mini sniper. Is that smaller? Than a mini sniper? I guess it would be. We'll build that there, and then we'll build land ship, and then build a mini sniper. Fill them in about fives or sixes. So this here, the thing I said I, I the thing I saw and really want is the a telescope. So telescopes um, are fantastic for long range fire because they give you a bonus to it. So that's something we want to get and retrofit probably all of our bombarding bombarding vessels, I think. We probably want to do that. Anyway, let's move everything over to Cullen Vod and build... Actually, let's not build landship. Let's see what we've got. So we have a lot of mini bombards here. A lot of... How many snipers? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's about right. What we don't have is we don't want, we don't have a liftington but i don't really want a, one of those i do want a marington though and probably a couple of them so i'll wait until we've got enough money which i believe was 2700 they are massively resupplying uh lonlin which i'm not that surprised about really because obviously they are ex probably expecting an attack we could destroy a little defensive structure at the back but it's only 16 percent chance for well 6800 sorry uh, 680 I thought I was going to say it's expensive, that. And, oh, I thought they were going to attack me. No, they're attacking the dragons, and they've actually destroyed the dragon's nest. So that's something that I don't need to bother doing. Excellent. I wonder if you can... I wonder if you can take... You get get something similar. Like you, say, destroy the dragons, and it pops up and says, oh, they, they are now subdued rather than destroyed, and you get dragon riders. I know you can get dragon riders, and it's something that people did want, um... And mentioned before about uh, getting, but uh, that's something you have to pick at the start of the game when you create your faction. Because we got the boar's head, which is I think it's like thirty percent extra hull points for tracked vehicles or something like that. Um, can't see it. It's somewhere. Anyway, 
So yeah, that's uh, that's what we started with, but you can actually get Dragon Riders, which is really, really cool as well. Anyway, so we're building the Marington. It's in the large shipyard. We currently have Heavy Cannon, Flamethrowers, and the Suspendium Cannon. This has got telescopes. Don't know what's in the other stuff, but it'll be interesting finding out. I reckon as soon as I attack, uh, they'll probably move over, although this guy is absolutely getting ruined. Uh, yeah, there we go. He's gone. Uh, he did repel one attack, but I think it's... Uh, not went too well from there. Now he's retreated back to his little island. So here's our ships and vessels and not the actually ships. No, they're not. They're uh, the ground vehicles. Although they did, they did call them land ships back in the day. So anyway, let's attack. And as you can see, immediately as soon as I do that, they are sending their supplies on supplies their reinforcements over to Lonlin and this should be an interesting fight because I don't know what they've got right so oh my good grief we've got a lot of stuff to deal with here so they've got essentially two tower blocks on legs which is a thing and on either side of them as you can see is just a rig big row of rockets um two four six eight ten twelve fourteen rockets seven aside we've got this thing which is the same more rockets I'm guessing this guy has rockets in his faction and these are cannons, cannons, yeah, okay, so that's the standard stuff there. So, let's deal with this. Let us reserve these two ones at the front and we'll move this to the forward position and then we will reserve two of these and actually you know, you know we might reserve them all no no we'll come back to that we just want to put the mini bombards in like so and then we want to move all of the snipers as far back as possible because we um we want to be able to fire at long range obviously outranging the opponent with these is the sort of number one priority actually this is probably going to be a big issue for me because for all of these guys' advantages, it cannot take out air vessels. The only thing that can take out an air vessel is this thing with its uh, with its flat cannon. So we'll see how it goes, right? We will click start and we'll pause it immediately and then click ram and go to there because I want to ram and hopefully go underneath it and then board it and that should be useful. All of these will target, I will say target um, the board back one probably and see if we can take one out very very quickly so there's a lot of rockets coming out as you can see and oh my good grief straight away we're having some issues there and go to outside view you can see the damage that's been sustained already on the Murrayington but it is well armored so hopefully we'll be okay we are going to do a boarding action on this walker and hopefully we'll be able to get on there quickly and take it over it looks like the guys if you can actually see your path well, it's a screen shake now isn't it yeah you can't really see anything um I am trying to board it, but there's, oh my good grief, there's just explosions. What on earth is going on? Right, well that thing's been taken out. Right, I think, I think the, I think the, yeah, yeah, okay, we've taken that out as well. Right. <laughs> um, board ship, let's board back to our, uh, can we move back? Looks like we are still boarding there. Um, that ram to there, keep going. Um, yeah, so what's happened here is essentially we've destroyed both of whatever these things were. And they're gone. I don't know how many troops we have. Although, there's still more rockets firing out from these guys. Um, if we go over to the back, we can hear some explosions. And it looks like the the snipe, the mini snipers are being absolutely ruined by the rocket guys. Which is not unsurprising because they don't have any air things to deal with. Or they don't have anywhere to take out air vessels. But the bombards are... Well, it looks like doing a, doing very well because that's another defensive structure that's now exploded and has turned into kibble. Uh, there's nothing left of it. Right, perfect. So this one, we will go forward to there and ram forward. It actually looks like everything's on fire and broken. Let's just click on um, outside view. Yeah, that's a very, very, very broken machine. But um, can we go forward and actually... No, we can't. Look, this thing is wrecked. It's absolutely ruined. Our mini snipers are already out of ammo, really. Is it because they are... No, uh, it's, it's, it's just generally because they don't have much ammo. That's all it is, right? That's not very good. We knew something like that might happen. Um, but I think I, I might still have a chance of winning this. You might think I'm going to win this no problem whatsoever because of, well, their huge hole where the defences were, plus this thing is on fire. But the problem I have is this guy. I can't take him out. Unless I move this back and get the flat guns in range, which I don't think I can do. 
these. Oh, hang on. Have you seen this? They have... Um, move. These guys. Hang on. Move. It looks like these have all been taken out. This is no target. So if I go on the right, are they dead? Yes, they're all dead. So all of their defensive structures are actually gone. So this is... Actually better for me. I'm going to turn around and up. Oh, there we go. The Murrington has lost its motive system. But I am able to turn these vehicles around as you can see and still get shots on this and if they start falling out of the sky like that I might still be able to win this. There we go. So turning them around. There we go. That's the winning shot. It's managed to hit the suspendium or something because it came straight out of the sky and hit the deck, which is good for me. And victory, there we go. So, <laughs> mini bombards, out of all of them, uh, oh, they all survived, according to that list there. Uh, the mini snipers, we've got three destroyed, one disarmed, one no crew cause, or two disarmed, actually. And then their stuff either disarmed or destroyed. So, that was quite good. We'll go for a gentle takeover there, and then we'll wait. Now, obviously, we're going to have a big problem now, because I really do need to repair these things, but I cannot move them back. I cannot move them back. If I do, then that's going to cause me a huge amount of problems because they'll attack immediately. So, uh, in terms of how well the alliances are going, this guy obviously has got the most territory. He's got a little bit down here. He's got a bit on this island. So, he's got two islands to himself, really. Oh, one island to himself, one he's sharing. He's moving around all over the place with whatever forces he has left. And then he's got several towns here. There's uh, another guy in Zignaglesh, whatever it is called, this stripey guy, and he is, um, he is sort of on his own, he hasn't yet joined a, a alliance, unless that is what's left of the alliance, just one, one town, obviously we've got this guy on the right hand side, which has got an island to himself, and then a bit on here at Ringfast, which is okay, so I just need to repair all these, and... It's going to be a fairly big job. It's like a plumber's estimate. Oh, I don't know. It's a big job. <laughs> Let's just repair all of these. A lot of them will not take that long because they are either... Well, they're just, they're just the mini ones, so that's fine. Right, so we will go to build landship and I think... Oh, no, no, no. Before we do that, we'll go to design landship. Open design. Move over to the mini bombard and we'll have a look at command and crew. We can see we now have a telescope. So equipped with a telescope, spotter can direct fire of the ship's weapons. So it increases weapon accuracy by 30%. That is very, very, very good. Recommended crew 10, air sail is 9. So this, having this like as is, is fine. Save the design. Uh, sorry, cancel. Save design. Save. Yes, I do want to override, override the mini bombard. There it is. Uh, we'll build one while we're here, because why not? And then we do want to... Ooh, looks like they're getting attacked by... No, no, no. This guy tried to go for attack, and he immediately went, No, 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 you're not doing that. It looks like, however, he is moving over to the top, and... Was destroyed. Completely destroyed as well. Look, re completely repelled. I am fine with that. That is great. Anyway, let us go to uh, all the bombards. Refit. Open design, mini bombards, refit. And this will not take any time at all. Oh no, it's good. It is taking a little bit of time, but only a tiny bit, really. So there's that mini bombard. It is. We have to well, keep doing that essentially. Refit, open design, mini bombard, refit. There you go. And just keep going through them all and then get them all sorted. Shouldn't take too long, but we. Do need to make sure that they are all the new edition. And I think it will make a big, big change to it. Considering that you are getting 30% extra accuracy for very little expenditure. That's the thing. It's very little expenditure. So just refit all of these. And then we'll do the same to these snipers as well because it would be pretty stupid not to hang on I pressed the wrong button there, refit open design, mini bombard refit it would be pretty silly not doing the snipers refit, open design, mini bombard 
refit. There we are. And that should be them all now. So it's just the mini sniper. So we will refit it. Get the telescope. Uh, the telescope, however... Ooh, where can we put it? Where can we put the telescope? Well, I would like to put it here, but... It's blocking the crow's nest, so we cannot... We, the only thing we can do is move the crow's nest up. Recommend a crew of 10 and air sailors of 12. So actually... I guess it's a case of just placing another berth up there. Maybe one there. And then have a telescope like so. Having more ammo would really help us out. But I don't know about... What would the solution be? Um, well, it could be this. And then that. So that's our re redone design. It's got the supply hatch at the back. It's got air sailors 15, recommended crew 11. Double the ammo capacity now. And the bridge up there and the telescope. So actually, you know what? I'm happy with that. Not even going to uh, mark it as version 2 or anything. I just think that's now the... Uh, it's not a massive difference. Actually, you know what? It's, it sort of is. <laughs> it sort of is, isn't it, really? It should be a version 2, but we're not going to rename it. So again, uh, we will go to Mini Sniper Refit. Open Design. Mini Sniper Refit. Now, when I did the other one, the Bombards, um, is that the only snipers that have left? Do we only have two snipers? Yeah, two snipers is what was left. That's all we had. The rest were destroyed. Right, so... Build land ship, mini sniper, build here, build land ship, mini sniper, woundford, build land ship, mini sniper, and one here as well. And that should be about it. Not going to build anymore, that'll do us. So as you can see, they're moving forces around the bottom all over, this, all over the place. I'm going to take Rizgut. And then probably, probably, I don't know whether to go north and take this guy over or just leave him alone. He hasn't yet attacked me, so that's always, that's always an advantage. There's a dragon here and giant spiders that I can't get to with pirates there as well. And I haven't yet taken out the pirates, so I should really do, but nah, we'll just leave it for now. I'm more about taking territory at the moment. This guy's moving off, and what I'll do as soon as he's gone probably past the midway point, the point of no return, I will attack and... Actually, I'll wait until he's almost there, and now I'll attack. So this should be a quite easy fight. I don't know what's in Rizgut, but we managed to... Oh, a fire caused a foreign agent destroyed the raging fortress in Lonlin. Oh, okay, and another, another one. Oh, there's loads. I, do you know what it would have been, actually? It would have been whatever was left. Yeah, there was there would have been a tiny, tiny um, defensive structure left after we uh, <laughs> after we pounded them to death, and there was a couple of be pieces there. So actually, whatever was left, I'm not too bothered. Let's go to build building then, and we'll build a black citadel. Obviously, it's not very good, but it's uh, something. It's mainly for just ninja attacks. So I'll attack here, and they have oh dear. Oh dear, I sort of feel a bit sorry for them, to be honest with you, because... I mean, this is what they're, this is what they're up against. Yeah, let's click start and immediately um, look at the shots whizzing out. Yeah, uh, the day's up. <coughs> they just surrendered straight away. Yeah, they saw the, yeah, they saw the iceberg. No, gentle takeover. That did not take long. They are now attacking Lonlin, which is an interesting choice. I could easily move back like so, and that should turn them around. But then this guy's attacking as well. So I'm going to have to move back. I'm not going to get there in time, actually. But I should... Oh, no, I might be just in time. And, yeah, see, look, look, did you see that? I just got there, like, a microsecond before he got there as well. And he's had to turn around and go back there. So that's a bit annoying that he's managed to... Uh, he thought it was a good idea to attack me. But now I've got the problem where I've, I, I am pretty much surrounded now, so I do need to take out one of these guys. Um, we probably need to build some more defences, so build, building, another black citadel. Actually, can we not build something else? Build building. We've got the black wall, useless. Uh, we've got the cubington. <laughs> 
we've got the Om Nom Nom, the Red Wallington, and the Red Wallington V2. All of them fairly terrible. So we probably want to make a proper defensive structure. I think next episode we'll 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 get a customized defensive structure. Hmm. And one that's not as terrible as the really, really, really big ones because they have that chain reaction problem that you often get. So, I think we will just take a look at this guy's defences. It's just one of these things. We will go to build building, black citadel, and we'll click OK. We'll shove it there and then leave that. Once this one is taken over, we will probably... Oh, look, he's attacking there again. Um... Right. Okay. What I'll do then. I'll say... Where's the mini snipers? And then we'll move there. So we're going to split our forces in half just to stop him trying to take this over. As soon as I get there, he'll probably turn around. Yes, he has. Right. So, Rusgut, go to defences. We can see there's all of the things I've got there. We will repair this smaller one. That shouldn't take too long to repair. Now it's very, very quick. And then defences once more. Build building. Black Citadel. The reason they put these on the end because I'm trying to scroll to the right, but uh, it you know it puts that name in there. And there's a tree. We will keep the tree. We'll put that there. Right. So that should be enough to hopefully hold them off. I really want to attack Met Metpolis. I don't want to go up here. Or I don't want to take the giant spiders out. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. And Oh, he's attacking me now. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we will build... Uh, whatever. I don't know. Defensive structure of some kind, I'm guessing. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.